This is a great demonstration for showing the whole process of digestion from gums right through to bums. We start obviously with the mouth. Here is the mouth and we're going to have a really healthy meal of baked beans, lovely. Frank versus chocolate biscuits, you Victoria sponge, lovely. The teeth start mashing up the food. So of course we're going to add some saliva. It gets added in. Saliva contains some enzymes and these start to break down the food. So we'll start crushing those up. One other item in the mouth which helps digestion start going is the tongue. Today my hand is going to be my tongue. Whirl the food around, getting it into a round, something like that. Bolus at the back of the mouth. Down the esophagus and on to the stomach. Stomach, big muscular bag. Already it's starting to look a bit like vomit. This is a great time to take it around the class. A few more things get added in the stomach. We've got some stomach acid, enzymes as well. Lovely. There's still further to go, of course. It has to go past another sphincter and pass into the small intestine. Here is our small intestine, another bowl. The muscle releases, pushes the food. There we go. No longer looking like food. It's called chyme now. And once it's chyme, we're going to have to add some sodium bicarbonate. It neutralizes the acid from the stomach. Also, some bile salts. These help to start break things, breaking things down. Some more enzymes to help get that goodness out. Villi in the small intestine acts as a sponge to soak up all the goodness, all those nutrients in the blood. Squeeze it out into the blood. Lovely. Plenty of goodness in the blood. But now bile pigment's going to be added. It gives it that classic brown colour we all love. So it's starting to look a little bit more like poo now. And from the small intestine, it's going to move on to the large intestine. But in there, all the remaining water gets soaked out keep as much of it as possible in our body. Lovely, it's quite dry in there now. All of that waste product is gonna go into the rectum. The rectum is a big bag, just like this one. I've been saving up for quite a while now. I think it's time to go. Here's our toilet. Oh, oh squeeze, yes, squeeze with me. All done, and there we have it. From gums, all the way through to bums. While this demonstration may seem really complicated, it's not at all. You don't need very much equipment, and it's really quite simple. A potato masher to be your teeth. Three bowls, one for the mouth, one for the small intestine, and one for the large intestine. You need a sponge to act as your small villi in the small intestine. Lastly, a couple of buckets to act as your blood and your toilet. Make sure you've got some water in that one to add to the sound effects. A couple of plastic bags. These are gonna be your rectum and your stomach. A pair of scissors to cut open the sphincter, and you're ready to go. Six bottles of liquid. First one is saliva. All that is, is water. Second one is some washing up liquid, added to some water and some red food coloring to get a little bit of spice, a little bit of excitement. Look, next, we have the acid. So it's just malt vinegar bought from a shop. Next one is sodium bicarbonate, which actually is just sodium bicarbonate added to water. Bile salt is washing up liquid, and that's all it is. And last but not least, we have bile pigment. This is just brown paint added to water to give it that lovely brown distinctive colour. 